Hey, True Believers England team here with another batch of new comic books to review. These are books that at the time of this recording are still on the shelf, so go out, check them out. Uh, or even, hey, use this as a little back issue guide. Always at least one Marvel, one DC and independent. I tried to anyway. This time we're tossing in two DC, as you can see by the thumbnail. So kick back, relax, let's get this party started. Alrighty, as you can see here, first we're going to start off with Dr. Opera, the new book from Marvel. Now, let me tell you something about these Marvel Star Wars books. Even when they miss, they hit. Well, not always, but most of the time. I, I don't think I've read one that I was, I'd be like, oh, no, we can't pick that one up again. Although I have read a couple that were worse than others. This one, however, I enjoy. I got to tell you, it took me a little while to come around to Dr. Opera. I put him in, in the right writer's hands, I guess, and any character could be good. That's what I always say. There are no bad characters. They're just bad writers for those characters. In this case, we get a, a good uh, tale of, well, basically, it's she's kind of like a female Han Solo, except for more like Han Solo really should be, um, or, or at least how we kind of think of him in our minds. Because I, I always think that uh, this is the kind of character he at least should have been in the movie because she is more um, willing to do bad for her own needs. <laughs> and that really comes off. I really do like this. Uh, sometimes a, the, a great anti-hero. Uh, it's not like they're bad people because I've read comic books like that as well. And this one, no, she's actually somebody you can like, somebody you can follow you understand her motiva motivations, but they never write her so bad as to want her just to get caught. That's when a book can go sideways. Now, it's it's pretty decent. I mean, this is a, basically a, you know, one last heist kind of thing that, oh, and then something goes wrong. But still entertaining, enjoyable, and I'm in. I'll check out the second issue. Next up is Sabrina the, the Teenage Witch, something wicked, and I normally don't do Archie comics because every time I put them in, I get a copyright strike because uh, they do, I guess they don't like the images or something like that, so I don't know why I'm reviewing this one. <laughs> anyway, Kelly Thompson writes this one, so I was like, ah, oh, goodness, I, I like Archie comics. I love the characters. How's she going to do on this? Eh, she's all right. In all honesty, that's how I could explain this. Eh, she's all right. I mean, uh, they, they do my uh, kind of uh, ride the line between what we see on the TV show plus what we get in the older style comics with the humor. There's still a sense of humor. It, the art is still a touch cartoony, and I kind of like that. I like it. I like that balance that, they, that Kelly uh, manages in the artist. I'm sorry, I forgot the name. But I like the little balance that they've got going on. That being said, this story is all about the next issue. Um, this is trying to set up the universe before you actually tell a good story. You know, the comic book version, which we see a lot. It's all about what's about to happen, and there's nothing really happening right now. And guys, trust me, and this is one of those things where I do that, where YouTubers talking to the people who will never be watching their video. Guys, trust me, if you write a good story, it will sell the next issue. That's the whole point. Every issue sells the next issue. If this one's good... People who read it are going to want to get the next one. That's the rule that we usually follow. As it stands, though, once again, this is written for the trade. So if you're picking it up like that, I don't know. Maybe you won't be disappointed. Got to wait until issue number two to make sure of that. But as it stands, as I said before, I know it's Kelly Thompson. She's so hit and miss with me. But this one, it's all right. Nothing offensive, I didn't die reading it, and I didn't hate the character after I read it. Deceased Hope at World's End. So uh, this is basically a miniseries that focuses on different characters every time. This is Wally West and uh, the other speedsters, basically. Uh, Jesse Quick, Max Mercury, so forth and so on. And I got to tell you, so far, so good, gang. I know I am. I basically drop to my knees and fillet whatever deceased comic comes out. I wasn't a huge fan of the first issue of at, at World's End here with uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, not Jimmy Stewart, Jimmy uh, Olsen's <laughs> uh, Jimmy Olsen story. I, I thought that one's kind of weak. Loved the uh, Black Adam, and this one is just more of the same. And uh, it basically, I love the part where Batman calls him up, and says, "You got to get here, man, because if you fall, 
you could drop the entire world, you know, being a speedster and all. Um, so he gets all the speedsters together to, you know, crush all of the uh, all of the screens as fast as they can. Don't look at any of that kind of stuff. And yeah, I get it. You know, I actually get it. If you could manage to do that, the speedsters are the most dangerous, but also the ones you want on their team um, to do what they have to do. I would kind of wish they had uh, explored that in this story as well, but yeah, I get it. it went another way, but it, it's still pretty good and it's still an excellent story. So far, the whole deceased storyline, well, like I said, some parts are better than others has just managed to be really cool all the way through. I'm, I'm very happy to have read this. I'm going to pick up the next one. This is a digital uh, only or digital first anyway. They'll probably put out a comic book for this. You know how they do. But um, yeah, I'm in. I'm buying the next chapters. The chapters after that so far, Deceased has been one of DC's best titles in the last five years, hands down. Next up, we have Flash number 754, and yes, I was going to review this for last week's books. It just kind of bled over into this week. Um, that's my only laziness, and I apologize because I know 755 is already out. Alrighty, so I got to tell you, I've been reading this, and it seems like it's uh, a little bit wash, rinse, repeat here. I'm, I'm ready. Let's get down to the fight. Uh, let's get down. Let's get down to business and defeat the paradox i guess i don't know point being is is that uh we get it flash is nervous that a reverse flash might find out what happened to him and he does in this issue and it, it's a good story mind you i'm not knocking what's going on here i'm just thinking this whole storyline may be one issue too long you know like individual they're fine if i read this out of context i would think oh wow this is a pretty cool story i want to check out the rest but in context, well, you're just kind of going over the same stuff that you went over last last month or last two weeks or whatever. And you're just adding on a little bit different here, a little bit different there. But you're not really changing too much, are you? Not really. I mean, we every, every bit of information that we get here is almost the same as what we got before. And I'm, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit different on this one, but I would like some progression um, more than just a tiny push, I guess. And that's my big problem with the storyline. And once again, I think this is, uh, this is where you say the sum of the parts is greater than the whole or something like that. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not an English major. What you going to do anyway? But yeah, that's where I stand with this one. Uh, so far, so pretty good. Uh, but guys, it's time to wrap this story up. I, I that, that's what I believe anyway. Uh, I know that's kind of a confusing, review but hey i stand by my words man um <laughs> there you go it's good by itself but in the context of the entire story it's time to pick it up cha-cha got a life to lead and as always at the end of, of my little uh, reviews here and i sum everything up i do put the covers from best to worst and i don't think i'm surprising anybody by saying this week or this time around anyway deceased was the best comic book out of the bunch it hands down, it's just fan freaking tastic. Alrighty, and next up you gotta talk about Dr. Apra, which set up a really good story, which I don't think I covered anyway, <laughs> but it's still a lot of fun. I'm liking the character, I'm liking the side characters, and I'm willing to hang out and check it out and see where this thing goes anyway. So uh there you go. And in third place, uh, this was a hard call, but I had to go with a flash on this one. Um, when I'm thinking about Sabrina and the Flash, neither one of them really was bad, uh, but kind of both of them kind of were weak in their situation as uh, as they're telling the story. And at least the Flash was a strong issue by itself, while Sabrina uh, was a weaker story because instead of telling, I don't know, it just so much wanted to get on to issue number two it forgot to have an issue number one i think that's uh that was the biggest flaw here not bad just not all that great but that's just my opinion what is yours let me know in the comments below don't forget to click like share subscribe ring that notification bell if you haven't done it already make sure your notifications are on all and check out one of these videos that are popped up all around you here blocking all the words moving up and down here and if you don't mind helping out the channel going over to patreon ko-fi or even over to 
members only at uh, I Love Comics. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.